To pay more for energy is a sensitive subject for a whole lot of people, but that's what could soon happen if regulators find Duke Energy's rate hike request reasonable. During a hearing at City Hall before members of the Public Utilities Commission of Ohio, Lorenzo Williams asked a question plenty of Duke Energy customers have been asking of late. I just want to know when it's going to stop. Williams wants to buy a house that he can leave for his family, but he's worried a proposal by Duke to raise the cost of natural gas for customers in Ohio would snuff out his aspirations. If we have to pay for utilities and we can't keep up with it, then we're going to lose our house before we even get started. We have not asked for any increases on our Ohio gas customer side since 2012. Duke spokeswoman Sally Thielen says the company wants to raise natural gas rates by almost $49 million, which would have an impact on monthly bills. For an average um, residential homeowner right now, for our proposed increase, it would be uh, just over $6, so about a 6.7% increase or a $6.06 increase on your monthly bill. The state's utility commission has suggested a rate increase between $23 million and $36.5 million, which is less than what Duke is asking for. A decision on a potential rate increase is expected this spring. Until that happens, people skeptical of the energy company's proposal will keep trying to make their voices heard. We want them to be able to provide a safe supply of natural gas at an affordable price. And we know it costs money to do that. But we want to make sure that they're being prudent with the consumer's money, they're being careful with the consumer's money, and they're not asking for too much. Now, Sally Thielen with Duke says during the last 11 years, the company has spent more than $1 billion improving its energy network. While acknowledging the timing of the rate increase is not ideal, uh, she says Duke feels the need is now to recover some of that cash. Todd Dykes, WWT News.